You might have heard of this intro, you might have not. The song you're currently hearing was originally pitched for the soundtrack of Shrek the Third. Meaning it dodged a bullet the size of Jupiter. You know, the third Shrek movie. That one. With this kid for some reason. It was voiced by Justin Timberlake for some reason. That one. But we're not here to talk about Shrek the f***ing third. No, we're here to talk about one of the songs included in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man 3 film soundtrack. Specifically, the first ending credit song that you hear after the movie. The perfect words never crossed my mind Cause there was nothing in there but you Everyone, we're here to talk about the wonderful and vulnerable Signal Fire by Snow Patrol. But the song and music video. So this song was released back in 2007, and as mentioned, it was initially offered for Shrek the Third, but they didn't appreciate it. However, Spider-Man did. Good for them. Hooray for the Sam Raimi trilogy! Prior to hearing this song in the credits, I also got to watch the music video back when I was in fifth grade, and oh boy. To summarize, a class of kids have this play that shows the two Spider-Man films at that time. They act out most of the important scenes in the film, like Peter getting bit, MJ, the villains, action sequences, the whole bit. Also, the actual band is there and just vibing. But aside from the Spider-Man stuff, it also shows a very cute story. The kid character who ultimately plays the spider who will bite Peter or the Spider-Man character is shown occasionally looking at the girl playing MJ who is implied to be his school crush or whatever. Throughout the video, you see the spider's longingness and his sadness and uh, invisibility. Like, some of his classmates are either shoving him or not really minding him or paying any attention to him. And you kind of feel for him. In the rest of the music video, they reference most of the popular Spider-Man 1 and 2 scenes. And they are gold. The thing with the newspaper spinning around, Peter turning into Spider-Man and doing that whole thing wherein he was testing his powers. The one in Spider-Man 2 where Doc Ock and Spidey are at the top of the train fighting. And look! Look at the creativity! Look at all the props and hand-drawn backgrounds and look at this kid using a skateboard as the Green Goblin's hovercraft. An easter egg that the third movie will have Harry's Green Goblin using a skateboard version of the hovercraft. Said nobody ever. Couple that with the lyrics of the actual song, like the perfect words never crossed my mind. Cause there was nothing in there but you? I am left wondering why this music video only has 7 million views. Meanwhile, the other popular Snow Patrol song, Chasing Cars, is at the 300 million count. I mean, f fine, I get it, you know? Chasing Cars is Chasing Cars. It's, it's like... It, it has its own identity and practically screams every 2000s movie about love or looking at the stars with someone. It, it's been used under popular forms of media, alright? It is a giant. But what about Signal Fire? Now, I'm no expert as well in analyzing songs or tempo or melody or whatever, but the song f***ing slaps! Alright, you got the intro pulling out your heartstrings already with that piano. And then there's the chorus, the crescendo part of the song, the lyrics itself. It's just an overall vibe of being shy at the beginning and feeling hopeless but being brave at the end. It also feels like a memory, like when I hear it, it just takes me back to that 2007 moment and atmosphere where I was a kid and, and had time to nap without any worries about bills and taxes and existential stuff. Granted, 
all songs are kind of a time travel machine in their own separate ways like when you hear super bass by Nicki minaj of course it's gonna take you back to 2012 you know before anyone had mild scoliosis i'm a bit sad that overall the song didn't really get that much love like chasing cars did as well as when you scroll through the comments, it's more on reminiscing the Spider-Man movies and not the song itself. Like, I understand that Spider-Man was the reason why the song is out here, but still. Like, the music video is Spider-Man related and referenced, which is a music video thing if the song is under a film soundtrack. But it also shows this small moment of facing your fears and going for it. Name any other song in a movie soundtrack that does that. Vindicated for Spider-Man 2, it's the band and a couple of scenes in the film. Boss Bitch by Doja Cat, same thing. Singer, clips of the movie and has that Birds of Prey vibe and aesthetic. 21 Pilots, Heathens, Band, movie clips and or vibe. Oh, we'll get to this. Not to say that these are bad. Of course not! Never! And there are also probably other music videos of movie soundtracks like Signal Fire that have their own separate stories interwoven in the music video. Maybe. But there's something so simple and earnest about Signal Fire that kind of sets it apart. At least for me. And I'm the one making this video, so... That being said, Signal Fire will always be one of my favorites. I think both the song and music video are achingly beautiful and nostalgic and really well done. It may not be considered one of the greats or popular ones out there, but I like how it feels like it's not afraid of just being simple and it's sweet. It's warm and feels like youth. It shows this story about life and moments in between and just walking up there and going for it. Anyways, um, that's, that's about it. I just wanted to talk about the music video and song because I saw it on my youtube feed and yeah it's i think i think it's time to rewatch spider-man 3